When I think about collaboration, I think about inspiration. I think that you can look up other artists or musicians or what have you, and you get ideas from them. To me, that's a form of collaboration. Their work, their images, their life can be something that can inspire work of art. I find collaboration a much more looser term. I find that you can still be working very in a very solitary manner and still be influenced by different forces. For me, I absolutely had an incredible emotional reaction the first time that I saw your work. I felt a sense of strength and optimism when seeing your work in a way that I hadn't felt in a very long time. In that format through Tumblr or Instagram or however, it somehow becomes, you know, a part of your world, seeing it in that space. And I know a lot of my friends have also discovered your work through Tumblr. Do you ever worry that it in any way desensitizes the work or do you completely embrace it? I love the internet. That's I think great. it's the greatest thing I'm, all I'm time. I'm the same way. <laughs> Especially growing up in Alabama, you don't right. really have access to stuff. Right. So the internet was really my way of connecting to other artists. If I see, like, or I listen to a record, or I see another artist, like, you know, I see a Lucian Freud painting, right. I'm like, I'm inspired, and I feel like because his work exists, because he existed, right. I'm suddenly creating a new sort Absolutely. of work. And in a way, that is a form of collaboration. Yeah. When I started this style, the first thing I thought of was like, what does my skin feel? feel like. Right. We have enough about what my skin looks like, right. but what does it feel like right. to have the skin? And so like a lot of the like layers and a lot of that like skill was like to really press down and get at a feeling and a texture. The marks are like scarification. I'm literally embossing the paper with the pen and really pressing down because I want the mark to stay and I want that presence to stay. It's like the Toni Morrison thing. It's right. like my blackness can be something right. universal for right. people. But people just haven't seen it visually. I think right. they've seen it in literature, they've seen it in music, but rarely do they see it in fine art. And that's like what I wanted to push. This was supposed to be a, a little bit of an interpretation of your work <laughs> in terms of the black and white and the graphics. I'm loving it. Okay, I'm cool, it. cool, cool. It's interesting as I'm making this record now, all of my Brooklyn friends, my girls, have become my muses for wow. this record. It's like what I can hear them listening to at home mm. while they're creating. There's nothing about pop music that scares me or <laughs> makes me think that it's less valuable. And so for me, this record was really about creating a pop album that right. felt good, but still told very intricate stories and still had the layers to it. Sometimes you're put in these situations where you're working with a producer that, you know, this record, D Dev Hines produced. And we have been hanging out and sort of getting to know each other, but writing music together is an incredibly vulnerable experience. And so I think in the essence of collaboration, just really being able to lay yourself on the line and not knowing what to expect has seemingly become the best outcomes for me.